All right, hello friends. It looks like it is time to begin. It is four o'clock. Sorry, it might be four o' one or something like that. A minute late, maybe. But I am going to, um, I think, get started pretty quick um, because I'm going to post the replay later, and then people don't have to wait for me to get plugged in. So let me make sure my camera's okay here. So today we are going to learn about um, different toxic free ways that we can support our children and support our families when we go back to school. Uh, my kids go back to school tomorrow. Let me see if this is a little better here. There we go. My kids go back to school tomorrow for a half day. I know some people went back today. Some people go back in a couple weeks. But either way, it's definitely that time of year again. So, my name is Jocelyn Minders, and I live in Iowa. It's a beautiful, beautiful day outside. And, yeah, I'm just going to jump in, and let's see um. What we can learn today about different things we can use to support our kids and support our families this this fall as we jump back into school and jump back into activities and schedules. So, um, yeah, just a good way to um, start the school strong, start the school year strong. So first of all, a lot of this is going to be talking about essential oils. And if you don't know what essential oils are or much of the science or information behind them, I did post a different video in this link here so I'm not going to go into it a lot today because I want to jump back right in here on um, this is about a 10 minute video so feel free to um, go to that video and um, watch that to learn some different information about essential oils specifically um, how they're made where they come from the different types of essential oils and why I choose Young Living Essential Oils and Young Living products. Um, there's a significant difference from one company to the next. So it is very, very important that you do your research and very, very important that you know what you're using. Um, just because it says 100% pure on that bottle does not make it 100% pure at all. And Young Living has something called Seed to Seal, which basically just describes their process. And I trust them. And I know that their products are all pure, not just their essential oils, but all their other products as well. And they have enough products now that it is a simple way, a cost-effective way, to um, swap out the chemicals in our home and have those healthy products that, that are going to help our families be as healthy as they can as well. So just a couple statistics, too, to tell you why that's even important. A lot of people don't even realize some of the statistics behind what we do use. If you go to Walmart or your supermarket or whatever is your closest store and get the standard products off the shelf, you might think that's okay. However, if you do a little bit of research, it's actually kind of scary. So first of all, um, if you just actually do something called the three cabinet challenge, you open three cabinets in your house and you take it out and you read the ingredients on the products there. A lot of them you won't have any idea what they are. Well there's two places you can go to get some information. There's a rating of how toxic they are. One is um, EWG.org. It's the Environmental Working Group. And they actually rate products on a scale of 0 to 10. and um, Or 1 to 10. 10 is the most toxic and 1 is non-toxic and just fine. So Young Living's products are Every ingredient in them, and I've seen them actually broken down, is a one with a couple twos occasionally, but not, I've never seen anything over a two, which makes me feel good. A lot of your conventional products are going to have nines, and a lot of nines, to be honest. Um, seven, eight, and nine as their toxicity rating. And that has to do with um, allergens that are in it, um, carcinogens in there, which is cancer causing, um, which is honestly, you use those over every day for a number of years and that's going to accumulate in your body and it's going to make a big difference and it's going to definitely affect your health and it's going to affect the health of your whole family so just some um, information too about just the average woman applies over 300 chemicals a day to her body through soaps makeup shampoos and hair care products and so our kids are using those shampoos and maybe some of their hair care products depending on the ages that they are um, some of the girls as they get older are going to be using makeup and just the cleaners that we're using in our homes are very scary to be honest. Um, when you use Young Living's products you don't have to worry about any of that. Um, it is not a concern at all. So um, something to be aware of too, I guess a buzzword that you could um, mention, a buzzword to pay attention to I guess is xenoestrogens. And basically what that is, is something that is going to mimic estrogen in your body. 
and it makes your body think estrogen is there when it's not. So for our little girls, what it's doing is it's causing very, very early puberty, and in our little boys, it's causing delayed puberty, which is, that's scary stuff. It has long-term effects. It can have major, major damage to these kiddos. And it's not called xenoestrogens on the labels. Um, there's a lot of different names that it, that it um, is included in. Um, another buzzword to be careful of that is written on the label is anytime the word fragrance is used, that means they're putting potentially thousands of chemicals in that product and they don't have to list them on the label. So if the word fragrance is in a product, that means there's chemicals in there they're not telling you about. So just a little education before we jump into some of the things that we use in our house because it's important to know that information and to be aware of what we're putting on and in our bodies and on and in the bodies of our children. So as you get into some of these things too, um, do your own research and go to that ewg.org and the app, there's an app called Think Dirty and you can scan the UPCs right in the store and check that out and just check out what some of the products that you're using are rated on that scale. So just a little bit of information as far as how quickly the essential oils work and how long they stay in your body because that's going to depend on how, how frequently you're going to use them potentially. So once you put an essential oil on your body, um, you put it in somewhere, put it on your hands, breathe it in, something like that, um, in three seconds it's going to be in your heart, your liver, and your thyroid already. So it's going to be very quickly um, going to those organs and helping those organs. It's in your bloodstream in 26 seconds and within 20 minutes it's going to be in every single cell. Oh, am I still on, guys? My phone is doing funny things. Okay, give me a thumbs up or something so I know I'm good. Um, but yeah, in 20 minutes, it's going to be in every single cell in your body. So that just gives you an idea of how quickly they work. Um, okay, thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Trisha. Good deal. All right, so um, also, how long do they stay in your body? That's big because you want to know how often to use them. And that's going to depend a lot on body chemistry. And everybody's body chemistry is different, but the average healthy person is going to um, expel them out of their body within three to six hours. And it depends on the oil, it depends on the product, and it also depends on their body chemistry. So I can't say for sure, but average three to six hours. So if you apply something every three hours, then you should be good that it will constantly be in your system. Um, and sometimes you can tell too, just if you need a little bit more. So. Yeah, just a little bit of background information there, and then we're just going to jump in. So yeah, like I said, if you want more information on essential oils and how to know which ones are good and why we chose Young Living, I put a different um, video in there. I posted it in the event, so it's about 10 minutes, and it just gives you some good background information, so feel free to go there and check that out. So <clears throat> I also did an outline, actually. I filled mine out on the um, event page. <clears throat> Excuse me, a little frog in my throat. And <clears throat> for that, um, you can actually print that out and you can take notes if you're a note taker. So I like to take notes when I'm listening to things. I remember it better when I write it down. I'm using more of my senses. So, all right, so the first topic that I'm gonna talk about as we get back to school and going back, getting back into our routines and things like that, and this deals with the xenoestrogens that I mentioned earlier um, and some of those other things is cleaning. And we think, well, what does that have to do with back to school? Well, because we're using those cleaning products and those are, our children are breathing them in and absorbing them into their little bodies. And it's going to affect their focus and it's going to affect their immune system and it's gonna affect a lot of respiratory, honestly, huge um, allergies and things like that. So I'm gonna talk about some of the cleaning products that we use and why we use them. So honestly, the number one cleaning product is this one, okay? Young Living has an entire line called Thieves. It's Thieves products. Thieves is an essential oil that I'll talk about a little bit later. And it is such an amazing, amazing essential oil blend that Young Living has made an entire product line out of it. And their cleaner comes in a concentrated 14 and a half ounce bottle. And what you do is you can mix it. For general cleaning, I take this 30 ounce bottle and I put one ounce of cleaner in it. I use it to clean everything in my house, my bathroom, my kitchen. I have one in each bathroom, I have one in my kitchen, I have one in my camper, and I have one in my van. It's absolutely fantastic stuff. So if you get one cleaner, this right here, it's also very, very cost effective. It's far cheaper than going to a store and buying some of those other products that you're going to buy. 
And you know that when you do clean with this, you're going to be helping support your immune system and help support your body instead of putting toxins and chemicals into your body. So Thieves Cleaner is an absolutely huge one. Okay, so then another one too that you can send to school with your kiddos, and I have a big bottle here and I have little bottles in my purse, is Young Living has a Thieves Waterless Hand Purifier. A lot of those hand sanitizers out there have triclosan and alcohol and all those other things in them that are not good for your skin, not good for your body, and they do bad things, especially if you use continuous and this waterless hand purifier is not going to have any of those controversial ingredients in them that are going to harm you. They're going to help um, yeah, get rid of the, some of the nasty stuff in there. And so you can put a little bottle, and it comes in the little travel sizes. This is my refill. And stick it in their backpacks. That's a great thing to have in their backpacks. There's also a Thieves Spray. Oops. There's a Thieves Spray here. And this one is... Um, it's Whereas this is more of the same consistency as like the hand sanitizer, this is actually going to be a spray. So I will use this to, um, if I want to clean off something like a table or a shopping cart or something like that, um, and it's good for hands or anything else that you would need it for. So that's another really, really great one. Um, just some other simple things that I just want to mention briefly to get some of those chemicals out of your home, just reaching over here a minute, is the laundry soap. It looks like a little bottle, but that's because Young Living does not put fillers in any of their products. It's very, very concentrated. You need a tiny amount. I honestly use half what it even says on the container. So it lasts for a really, really long time. It does a really good job, gets your clothes really clean, and it's only good for you. So the laundry soap, we've got the dish soap. Same thing, doesn't need much. Um, doesn't have sodium lauryl sul sulfate in it. Um, so it's not going to foam up like your typical dish soaps. So be aware of that. Don't use half the bottle. But if I just swish it a little bit, it will suds a little bit. Um, but it just takes a little adjustment, but it's only good. You're not coating your plates and dishes with toxins, which is obviously not what we want to do. And then we've got the foaming hand soap. They have that as well. You can make your own. Um, I have a little bit of both. I have made some of my own, and I also have um, bought the pre-mixed from Young Living. Some people like to make their own stuff and some people like to buy it ready-made. Totally depends on you and what you like. Um, now Young Living just came out with a line of products called Seedlings. That's their baby line. Not just for babies though. They actually have wipes and I don't have those wipes because I actually have made my own but they have really nice, I smelled them on convention, um, they smell really really nice. Um, they work really well. They're really thick so you could even rip them in half and just use a half of one. Um, I actually have this little container. This thing is pretty much indestructible. <laughs> and I have made my own Thieves wipes. And it's just Thieves cleaner. And I did some Thieves essential oil and some water. And I took a half a roll of paper towel, cut it in half with my electric knife. And then I put it in here and I have those in my van so that I have wipes anytime I need them. And you could even put them in a little container and have them in a backpack or something like that. Now, if you, you don't need to have that container, these coffee containers actually work great. Same thing, okay? Half a roll of paper towels. And if you go to Pinterest, you can find recipes. You want the, just do Young Living wipes, Thieves wipes, and you can make your own. Um, very, very simply, just using some Thieves cleaner, Thieves essential oil, and they work great. And there's nothing in them that's going to be toxic and that's gonna be harmful. So just some things to be aware of when you're cleaning and just some things you can have with backpacks and things like that. So, um, and I'm just gonna offer a few suggestions for each thing because I don't wanna overwhelm everybody because I feel like that can happen pretty easily because there's so many great options out there. When you get into the essential oils, there's so many oils that do so many amazing things. So I'm gonna do primarily the um, more common ones and then throw in a couple of our favorites as well. So um, my next category is energy. I'm knocking things over over here, sorry about that. And just right away when you get up in the morning and getting things going. And um, I know some people who will write a put in their diffuser at night. Now we, we run our diffusers all night, so I don't have a diffuser waiting for the morning. But in the morning, you put in a couple drops of peppermint and some lemon. That's gonna be a great pick-me-up in the morning. Um, you don't necessarily even have to put it in the diffuser. You can just do a drop on your hand or honestly, just open the peppermint and take a whiff. Okay, so it's very energizing. And my nine-year-old actually will take a bottle. It's almost gone, because I'm not gonna send a whole bottle to school with him. He has a habit of losing things on occasion. And I'll just have maybe five, maybe 10 drops in it, and he'll keep it in his desk. So if he kind of hits you know, the middle of the afternoon, and he's like, eh, you know, kind of fading a little bit, he'll just go like this. 
Put some on his thumb. Put it on the roof of his mouth. And just breathe it in. It opens up your sinuses really well and it's very energizing. I do that while I'm driving. But that's really, really great um, for school as well. And lemon, just put a drop on your hand and it's very uplifting and it's very energizing as well. And you just put a drop on your hand and breathe it in. And they call sunshine in a bottle for a reason. So that's something, yeah, that's most definitely something to, um, to remember there. And it's very simple to take along. You can easily stick it in your pocket. So now another one, this is huge. This is a big one that we take, okay? And for me, this is what I do in place of pop. Um, I will take some sparkling water and put my glass in. I already have mine today. And add one ounce of Ningxia Red to it. Now, Ningxia Red has essential oils in it, but it's really a juice. It's a wolfberry juice. They take the wolfberries, because they come from the Ningxia province of China. That's where the name comes from. And they will puree the entire berry, add some essential oils in it because um, those essential oils are very good for you and because they help your body process all the nutrients. And then they add some other juices as well that are very good for you. Um, it's got blueberry juice, plum juice, sweet cherry juice, aronia juice, and pomegranate juice. And it makes it taste good, but it also adds more benefits to it. So because this supports every single system in your body, I kid you not, every single system in your body, then you take an ounce, some people take two of this a day. I give my kids a half an ounce in the morning. They'll take it in a little shot glass. We do shots in our house every day. <laughs> we really do. We each have our own actually personal shot glasses and we do shots every day. And we'll take Ningxia Red. This is huge for energy. I can tell if I skip my Ningxia Red. It makes a really, really, really big difference. Um, it comes in these little packets like this or it comes in the bottles. I'm going to grab my bottle out of the fridge a moment. I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, or it comes in these bottles. These are actually really pretty bottles. And so you can actually turn them into decorations when they're empty if you'd like to. So this is what we do at home, and when we're on the go, then we'll do these. Because um, this is obviously easier to travel, and this needs to go in the fridge. Plus, I think it tastes better when it's cold. Now, something new along with that. If you know you're going to have a busy day, or to be honest, if you just feel like you want that extra energy boost, we have this lovely thing called Ninja Nitro. This stuff is amazing, okay? Basically, this is like the five-hour energy without all the toxic, terrible ingredients in it. Five-hour energies, as we know, are not good for you. Nitro is good for you, but it's going to give you that boost that you need. And you take two ounces of this with one of these little buddies, and you're going to be good to go for a whole day. So if you have a high schooler or a college student who's got a lot on their plate and they're busy, 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 because let's be honest, we know that they all are. This is going to be a really good combination for them. It's good for brain fog. It's good for energizing them and helping them just keep going all day long. I take a nitro before I run 5K races or any whatever distance they end up being. I'll take a nitro before my races. Um, when my nine-year-old last year, a couple times he gets run down and then he you know, kind of falls into the wellness line. Whoop, am I still there? You guys want to give me a thumbs up? Hmm. Lovely. Okay, so apparently I stopped. All right, am I there anymore or am I gone? I think I might be gone. Okay, I'm going to get off and get back on, I guess. Oh, okay. So Trisha says I'm back. You guys give me a thumbs up or something if I'm back? That's a little crazy. I don't know. The internet is a finicky thing for sure. Okay, can you guys hear me now? All right, it's gonna kind of mess up the recording a little bit, but okay, good deal. Thanks, Jen. Okay, so I don't know how much you guys heard, how much you missed, but two ounces of Ningxia combined with a nitro, wonderful combination for those super busy days 